How do you open files that are located in the same folder as your Blender script or add-on? In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating a path to the folder where your script is and creating a path to one of the files that is located right next to it. Here I'm in Blender scripting workspace and I've created a new script that has a comment and a couple of lines of code. I'm using the Dunder file built-in variable that usually represents the path to the currently running script. I'm assigning it to this variable and I'm also printing out the variable right here. Let's go ahead and run the script. Let's open the system console and you can see that the file, the Dunder file is pointing to some uh, text. Uh, and that's not really what we're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and save this script. I'm gonna go ahead and save it to this folder where it has some files in it. And I'm gonna name it my script.py. Let's save that. And now at the very bottom, you can see that there is a file path associated with this script. Let's go ahead and run the script again and see what that gives us. And yet again, you can see that the double underscore file built-in variable is pointing at some text and not exactly what we're looking for. But let's check how this looks if we run the script from the command line. And here I've opened the command line and I've navigated to the folder that contains the Blender executable. I'm using the background argument, which means that it's not gonna be launching Blender's UI. It's just gonna run something and then exit. And I'm using this this Python argument that allows me to run a Python script. And this is the script that we're working with. As you can see, it's the same thing as we have in our script editor. And I'm gonna hit enter. And you can see that the, the Dunder file built-in variable is now showing the thing that we are, are expecting, which was the path to the script. Now, what's going on here? Well, something to keep in mind here is that working in Blender's text editor, which we're editing our script in, has, is a special case. And to get the file path to the script that we've saved, you actually need to go into the space data, text, and then file path to get this particular file path when you're running from within Blender. And I've uh, added this line right here, and I'm printing out the result on this line and let me import bpy and run the script and now we can see that the file is still pointing to the text but the second part where we added the script path is pointing to the correct file path right here now let's go ahead and run the script from the command line and see what that gives us and i'm going to repeat the command that i just ran and it, you can see that this command actually gave me an error and it's giving me an error because we don't really have space data right here in our in our command line because we're not really booting up the UI and there's no space data, no text editor for us to get the path from, right? So we need to provide some logic that will allow us to run in Blender's text editor and from the command line or an add-on. Note that running from the command line will be similar in our case as running from an uh, add-on. Let's go ahead and add that logic. Okay, I've added this if statement that checks that we have some space data and it's not only any space data, it actually has to be the text editor so we know that we're running from the text editor. And if that's true, we're just gonna grab the file path from that context. But if it's not true, if we're running from the command line or an add-on, we can use this Dunder file built-in variable and get our script path that way. Let's go ahead and execute this script. Now we're looking at the terminal output of our script, and now you can see that we have the uh, file path to our script, and this is coming from within Blender. Let's run the same script from the command line and see what that gives us. I'm gonna just repeat the same command, and you can see that this actually gives us the correct path as well. All right. Now let's finish up and create the path to the folder where the script is. And I'm using pathlib and creating a path object from our script path, resolving it and getting the parent. The parent is going to be the folder that is that contains our script. And I need to import pathlib at the very top. And I'm printing out the 
folder that contains our script right here. Let's go ahead and run our script. And you can see that now we have a folder path to the same folder where our script is located in. That's great. Let's go ahead and run the same code from our command line. And you can see the same thing happens when we run it from the command line. It still works. Now let's do the final step and create a path to one of the full one of the files that is located in that folder. And here I'm creating the path to our file using that script folder and then providing the name for a file that we want to open or work with in our script, turning that into a piece of text as string. So the str right here does that, assigning it to a variable and then printing that out. Let's go ahead and run this script. And now you can see at the very end, we have a path to one of those files in the same folder as the script. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And for more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.